For the vast majority of us, the left hemisphere is dominant for language specialization. Wernicke's area in the left temporal parietal junction is critical for language comprehension such as reading or listening, whereas Broca's area in the left frontal lobe is involved in language articulation such as speaking. While the left hemisphere is generally dominant for language and logic, the right hemisphere is dominant for implicit, nonverbal, intuitive, holistic processing of emotional information and social interactions. The right temporal parietal junction, located where the parietal and temporal lobe meet, is highly involved in inner brain synchronization of spontaneous nonverbal communication. According to research by Alan Shore, when two people are attuned to one another in communication, the temporal parietal junction synchronizes with the other person's brain activity to make sense of their mind, empathetic response, attention, and perceptual awareness. This right-brained attunement works largely outside of conscious awareness with millisecond response speed, yet it only activates when a partner has shared communication history where they are open to mutually learn to adjust to one another. The ability to predict or understand the thoughts, feelings, and beliefs of others is known as theory of mind. The right temporal parietal junction and the medial prefrontal cortex are very important to our brain network that helps us reason about the mental states of others. If we don't empathize with others to better understand their thoughts and beliefs, we can live in isolation and ignorance. When trust and relationship break down, it can lead to depression, social anxiety, or even suicide. When we see others as an enemy, the gifts of the right temporal parietal junction that allow us to learn and adjust to one another are lost. We are individually and collectively healthier and stronger when we love our enemies and connect with one another, even in our differences.